Hey everybody, before this video gets started, I just wanted to say that I have definitely been affected by the recent changes in the Poshmark algorithm. I had a no sales day last Thursday and a very weak weekend, uh, which prompted me to start my sale, which is what I'm going to go over today. So the really good sales that I'm reporting today are only from my sales on Monday and Tuesday and a little residual on Wednesday. I'm filming this at 1.15 in the afternoon on Friday, February 18th. As of today, I had no sales yesterday and none so far today. So very strange stuff happening for me. I'm hoping that this video is just a way to show how I dealt with it. This morning, Poshmark released a statement that they were switching back to the default setting of just shared for most users. I'm not sure what that means. As of today, when I search something, it's coming up as just shared, but I just wanted to address that, um, that that's the reason that I decided to have this sale. I knew I was gonna have a sale sometime this month, but I panicked a little bit when sales were getting bad and people were worrying, so I decided to launch the sale. I hope you guys are all hanging in there. Please let me know in the comments how your sales have been, if the new search, if search by recommended um, or relevant was helping you or hurting you, and I'm really hoping that all of us who put our heart and soul into Poshmark see some better results soon. And I really hope that in the future, communication gets better. I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, <laughs> I know what you might be thinking and I have not gone thrifting yet. These are all the items heading out today from my two day BOGO sale that I ran in my Poshmark closet. I ran a BOGO sale, buy one, get one free, through Poshmark starting in the morning on Valentine's Day and it went through midnight on February 15th. I knew that I was gonna run a sale at some point this month. I honestly didn't know when. It was a super impulsive decision to do that. So I did a post on Instagram and I shared it. And then just yesterday, probably like in the late afternoon, I decided to share it to the community tab on YouTube and I also talked about it in my YouTube video, which thank you to anybody who watched the video with my son Rocco and his friends who went thrifting at the bins. It was so much fun and it's been a riot to read all of your comments. And thank you so much to anybody who has subscribed to my new channel, Time with Tata. It's a more of a lifestyle channel. I will link it in the description for anybody who wants to check that out. If you wanna subscribe, I'm gonna do my first video Tomorrow I'm gonna film because I'm starting Weight Watchers with my mom. I think that's gonna be my first video and then I'll probably do a live sometime between now and Sunday. But I also mentioned the sale in my last video. So I think talking about it definitely helped. And I think I only had two, maybe three sales that were not part of the BOGO sale. So on Monday, my sales, and these are all on Poshmark, I haven't had any eBay sales in two days, which I don't know what's up because there's all this controversy about Poshmark right now. And I definitely had some bad sales over the weekend. And I know that this sale and my social media presence definitely helped my sales. I acknowledge that, but I've had nothing on eBay and I have been really good about cross posting. So on Monday, I had $532 in sales on Poshmark and on Tuesday, the 15th, I had 469, comes to $1,001, which I thought was funny and a really nice round number. I'll show a little screen grab of what my month has looked like so far. These sales definitely gave it a boost. The way that I ran this sale was any items that were $150 or less were eligible for the buy one, get one free. Higher price prevails, people can do bundles. And yeah, other than that, I asked people to put items in a bundle, let me know they were from Instagram or YouTube, so say BOGO. There were a lot of people who were creating bundles and never, um, never submitted an offer and never said BOGO or mentioned anything. So I think that they were just people who were just shopping. I'm assuming that anybody and everybody who participated are either from YouTube or Instagram because that's where I advertised. And so you are part of my community and I really appreciate that. So thank you. These sales never go off for me at least without a hitch. There's always little bumps in the road, so I do wanna talk a little bit about those. And I'm gonna start with these right here. So these are some Latiste shoes. They are 
Really adorable sandals. This brand is great. It's by um, Spring Step. I sold this brand a few times. I just sold something recently. And these are a recent bins pickup. These were not part of the BOGO sale. Somebody offered me 35 outright and I accepted. And then when I went to ship them, I realized there were a couple issues. So like right here, there's a little divot on the side. And as I looked closely at these, it almost looks like color transfer. I can't be positive about that, but I had listed in the description that they were in great condition. And then I noticed this over here too. There's like a little bit of a pull in the leather. So I need to reach out to this buyer. I'm gonna do this today. Let her know that these are in fact not in great condition. Offer to cancel it and then resell them for $25 or $30. Um, I'll probably go $25 just because of the inconvenience and because I picked them up at the bins. Two of the bundles that were created, before I accepted, I had like this feeling like, gosh, I haven't seen these in a while. And I'm always paranoid that something's been misplaced, especially as I'm moving all my inventory. There were a pair of Columbia shorts. Somebody did a bundle with Columbia shorts and a moth sweater from Anthropology, and I couldn't find the shorts. I reached out to her this morning and I said, I can't find the shorts, but I will honor 50% off the sweater. If you are still interested, she said yes. So she purchased that sweater. There was also another instance where somebody bundled a Steve Madden, like a Madden girl backpack and a We The Free shirt. And I couldn't find the We The Free shirt. And it's funny, as soon as those items pop up, something in me is like, something's off about this. Did I donate this? Did that have a stain on it? Both buyers were amazing. And both buyers opted to get 50% off the other item that was in their bundle. Aside from that, knock on wood, everything was pretty smooth sailing. So let's take a peek at some of the other sales. This here in my hand is a Chico's Traveler um, sweater. The original price tag on this is $99. I picked this up at a local thrift store where they had um, an estate sale donation. They had a lot of Chico's and a lot of Talbots, which as you know, is a lot of what I got from my estate sale. So I was a little hesitant to buy anything, but they were four or $5. And some of the stuff was really nice new with tags. So this Chico's piece was one of them. And this is an Eileen Fisher sweater. It's a light knit Eileen. It's like a mint green. And I also have this for sale in my closet in pink. This bundle is going to Robin. The Eileen Fisher piece was priced at 50. The Chico's piece was priced at 48. So I sent Robin an offer for $50 and she accepted. The other thing about putting things in the bundle is that I'm not giving discounted shipping on these because the discount is so good. I'm not also doing discounted shipping on top of that. So it's not quite 50% in all cases. It depends on what the buyer is putting in the bundle. Um, I have some people who were very you know, if they picked a $35 item, they got another $35 item for free. But then in other instances, it was a few dollars difference. And in one instance, like somebody did a $75 item with a $30 item, she got her $30 item free. So it's a really fun sale to move things and it's not quite 50% off in a lot of cases. It really works out, it moves a lot of stuff. The next sale I was really excited about too, it's sitting right here. Uh, I had just listed these jeans yesterday and they are a pair of distressed jeans from American Eagle. I don't know where I got these. I'm assuming I got them at the bins because I typically don't buy American Eagle anywhere where I'm paying more than four or five dollars. Although I may have paid a little bit more for these because they are plus size and so fashionable and hard to find. We listed these yesterday. Caitlin worked yesterday. I steamed them, got them ready for her. We listed these for $38 yesterday and they sold yesterday. The woman who purchased the bundle put them in a bundle with this pink Victoria's Secret sweatshirt. So I had these priced at 38. This was a price, I believe at 25. So the bundle sold for $38. Thank you, Brooke, for your purchase. I've, I've just, I printed out all of my labels and I'm just kind of making piles right now. The next bundle that I'm going to share with you is an example of somebody who bundled four items. Every single one of them I had priced at $35. So 35, got one free, 35, got one free. So this bundle sold for $70. And it, they got a lot of great stuff in this. They got this, uh, Patagonia men's long sleeve t-shirt. That was one of my boys that they weren't wearing, but that's like basically new without tag. They really didn't wear that much. 
This is a men's Lululemon activewear shirt that I picked up. I'm not sure where I got this, but I rarely find men's Lululemon, so I'm always excited for that. Also in this bundle was this North Face short sleeve, like outdoor hiking style shirt with like the little zipper pocket and the ventilated mesh on the inside. This was also in the bundle. This is a onesie or onesie brand. I picked this up a while ago at as like a yellow tag thing at TJ Maxx. The price tag on it was $49. I paid $6. This has been in my inventory for a long time. So those four items together came to $70. That was a great bundle as well. I'm always so interested to see how people put their bundles together. And sometimes you can see people doing a bundle and then they change their mind or they add to it or they settle on two things. I do that a lot. Like I'll add a ton of things to a bundle when I'm shopping anywhere. And then at the end, I'm like, okay, what do I really want? And then you, you whittle it down to two things. So it's fun to see people's process. This next bundle, for example, I think is a very specific style. This bundle sold for $55 and they did very well. They got this Lululemon Racerback tank. They actually got two Racerback tanks. I had these priced at $30. So they bought one and then they got one free. This is a teal one. Um, this is really cool. This Hollister camisole orange floral tank. I had this priced at just $14. But this is definitely one of the items that I, you know, probably wouldn't pick up again or would have maybe considered even pulling from my inventory as I'm going through things in the month of February because it's been here for a while. Super cute tank top. It's just, I don't move tank tops very well. So this bundle really excited me because this person got a great deal and I moved four tank top pieces. So I would definitely pick up the Racerback tank tops from Lululemon, but I would not pay up for them. So if I have them here, these probably cost $4 or less if I had to guess. This is a dress I've had for so long. The brand is Soybu, S-O-Y-B-U. This is not a brand that I pick up anymore. It's an adorable, like one of those, it reminds me of like the Athleta dresses, uh, like an active wear style dress. I had this priced at $25. So they paid 30 for the Lululemon, got the next 31 for free. They paid 25 for this dress, and then they got the Hollister tank for free for a total of $55. Okay, this next bundle was $98. So the first thing that was purchased were these Mile High Cropped Wide Leg Levi's. I picked up a bunch of these on Retail Arbitrage a while back, and I feel like at first, there was a wave of them that moved really quickly and then I've had some for a while. I had these priced at $58. I paid between $10 and $15, $16 for these jeans. Some were marked on clearance, some weren't. So I think my average cost of goods on these Levi's um, when I purchased them was about $12 or $13. Um, but I had these priced at $58. She purchased these and then got these Levi's Vintage 721 High Rise Skinny Jeans. I don't think these are actually vintage. I think these are styled with the orange tag um, because they have this label here, the 721. Whoops. I really like getting the high rise skinny, the 721. I think the 711 as well from Levi's. I know skinny jeans aren't like the bee's knees right now, but these are still selling for me. So, and these were priced at $55. So she got those, she got these for free, and then she got this Ellie Kai dress. And I'll be sure to put like a snapshot of these because a lot of these are in package. Ellie Kai is a really high-end brand. I think the retail on this is over $150. I had it priced at $39 and it was sitting. I don't know if I would pick that up again, although the quality was so beautiful. Have you had any luck with this brand, Ellie Kai? It's a beautiful dress. It reminds me of Cos, the brand COS, um, that style, a little bit more minimalist or like a James Purse. So they paid $39 for that and then they got this belt, this Lauren Ralph Lauren belt for free, which I had priced at $35. And I love this belt so much. Anything that's leather and good quality, or usually I often look at the buckle to see if there's something unique about the buckle. The buckle gets me often. And I loved how this had like the gold around, but then the leather was carried through. That bundle sold for $97. Next up is a bundle that I already packaged up. Um, and it was this Asiri Tribal Alpaca Wool Open Cardigan. It was this really beautiful um, Aztec Southwestern style sweater. She paid $79 for that. 
and then got these Lucky Brand suede ballet shoes for $28 for free. I have that already packaged up and ready to go. Actually, that got shipped yesterday. That was a good example of a bundle where my profits were higher because the item that my customer chose to be her free item was significantly less than the first item. Next up is a combo of something that I sold from my son's closet. This one kind of pained me because this is that reverse weave champion sweatshirt. Really thick, really great condition. And Rocco wore it for a year, a year and a half. And then I thought Angie would want it and then she didn't take it. I feel like champion in general had a small moment, maybe last year, the year before, where it got a little bit of a buzz and I was picking it up and it was selling kind of fast. It's been quiet for me. Maybe I just have them priced high, I don't know. But I had this priced at $45, probably because I paid 70 for it and it was in great condition. Um, and I had these Ralph Lauren Navy Chukka shoes. These are really nice. I think these were a bins pickup because I have written in here that they were $3. So they may have been a bins pickup. I had these priced at 50, I had the champion priced at 45, so my buyer got this bundle for $50, which I think is a great value. All right, next bundle heading out is this little bundle with a Woolrich leopard print cozy blanket wrap and a Lucky Brand square neck jersey feeling um, pullover top. I almost didn't pick this shirt up. I think I got it at the pit with my friend Kim and I went back and forth. The reason I picked it up was because it was an extra large. I almost didn't get it because if I remember correctly, it was a little short-waisted, but I did grab it because it was an extra large, and this is the type of piece that I, I absolutely love selling in bundles. This probably cost 90 cents or a dollar, and then I had it priced at $23, and yes, it went in this bundle, so this Woolrich Cozy Print blanket wrap was $32 and then they got this item for free. This is really no skin off my back because I paid so little for it and I also like to keep a variety of price points in my closet. In the month of February I have been struggling. I had that video where I felt really overwhelmed because I realized how much excess I had. An item like that lucky shirt is a little bit of a toss-up. Do I get it and risk that it will be in my closet for a long time or do I get it and just price it low so it sells or do I pick it up and hope that it sells or in bundle or do I leave it behind? There really is no wrong answer. For me, moving forward, would I pick that up again? Mm, I don't know. Maybe not this month, in the month of Thriftless February, um, but I do do well with Lucky Brand in larger sizes. So that is a brand that keeps showing up for me. So maybe I would pick that up again. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have this same struggle. Like right now I'm in this like purge mode and I'm thinking there are certain brands that I don't want to pick up. But then, you know, I look at like this bundle right here, the pink sweatshirt and the American Eagle jeans. Those American Eagle jeans sold in an hour. Would they have sold if I wasn't having the sale so quickly? Maybe not. But then there are items like that Ellie Kai dress that I was probably excited about when I found because it's such a high retail value. And I only priced it at $39, which isn't crazy relative to what the retail is, but that's been sitting around for a really long time. It's always interesting to see people's shopping habits. And sometimes I don't get such a clear picture when my sales are spread out over a period of time, but where this all came in within 48 hours, it was really interesting to see what was moving out of my closet. The next bundle was my largest bundle. There were six pieces in this bundle and in total it sold for $128. So we'll start with the most expensive thing and we'll go down to see you know, how it worked out. This is also something I listed recently. This is from the buyout where I got the two Louis Vuitton bags. Um, this is a Dana Buckman vintage double-breasted navy jacket and it's dead stock. It still has the price tag on it. And the price tag on this was $348. Um, and it obviously was marked down quite a few times. I have this listed for $60. I did a 50% off sale through Instagram on my blazers and I did not sell one. I have an abundance of blazers. Um, so I didn't want to price this too high, but because it was dead stock, it was vintage and really kind of a cool style for right now. I think these oversized blazers are really big. I priced it at 60. So they purchased that. And then next on the list, as far as price goes, they got this Eileen Fisher Heather V-neck cardigan sweater for free. I had this priced at 
Eileen Fisher is a good seller for me. I think I sold two or three pieces in this sale, maybe just two. I probably paid about five or six dollars for this. I'm pretty certain where I got this in the sweaters at that store are $5.95. Next up were, what would she have purchased next? Okay, so this piece I love. This is a vintage, probably 80s or 90s, Leslie Fay um, scalloped hem mustard jacket, like blazer. This is so cute. I think this is gonna be adorable on. I had this priced at $40, so this would be the next item she paid for. And then for free, she would have gotten this Newick Tag J. Jill little kind of lace detail button down shirt. Um, this is all cotton. This I'm sure is from the estate sale. She had a ton of J. Jill that was new with tag. I had this priced at $35. She got two items that were new with tags. Okay, and then the last two items, <laughs> I'm very confident I will find the other shoe, but currently I can only find one of these shoes. These shoes are beautiful. These are H by Halston but they have been around for a long time. I had these priced at $28. I'm pretty sure I had these priced higher at one point and they were just sitting. Aren't these gorgeous? These are a size eight and a half, my size. So pretty. This is this little suede detail right here. So I can only find one right now, but I will find the other one. Uh, this is the last item that this buyer got for free. And this, I just recently pulled from my closet. This is the spiritual gangster robe from the Fit Fab Fun Boxes. And I was like, gosh, this is going to sit forever. There are hundreds of these listed. I, I mean, I might be exaggerating. It seems like a hundred though. And everybody always says, don't pick up the items from the Fit Fab Fun Boxes. So I priced that at 25. There were a lot of these robes priced at 15, but I'm like, I'm just gonna put it at 25 so I can take an offer. And what do you know, it's sold in less than a week in this bundle sale. Great value in that bundle. My buyer got that for $128. Thank you so much, Melissa. Not everybody has their name in their profile. It's like a pet peeve of mine because I always wanna say thank you to people by their name. And when I go to profiles and they don't have their name, I'm always like, oof, I wish people had their names, but I understand that some people do it for privacy. The next bundle that sold, it has an interesting story to it. I already packaged it up, but I wanna talk about it a little bit. It was a mod cloth navy fit and flare pleated dress that I picked up recently. I picked it up at Savers. I think I picked this up when I was shopping with the Vendu team. Um, it was priced at $5.49 plus 20% off. Really beautiful dress. Um, so I picked it up, I priced it at $50. The other item that sold, which was the higher priced item, were these rag and bone fitted skinny jeans with zippers. These were a low rise, they were a size 28, and they had the little zippers. These jeans I had sent to The Real Real. They priced them at like $40, and they recently dropped their percentage to 30%. So I'm thinking, and immediately, like after they're listed for like a day or two, they price them, they drop the price by 20%. So if they were $40 and then 20% off, that would have been $32. And then my payout would have only been 30%. So I would have had like a $10 payout on those, if that. That's unacceptable. For that price, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sell them myself. So I reclaimed them. They came back. I priced them at fifty five dollars. This person bought them in the bundle. They paid fifty five dollars. The mod cloth dress was free, which I had priced at fifty dollars. So even if you divide my profit and call each one of those items twenty seven dollars, I did not do discounted shipping. So when Poshmark takes their twenty percent cut off of twenty seven dollars, that's like five dollars and change. I'm still profiting. $22 before my cost of goods, which honestly I've had these so long, I don't remember what my cost of goods was on these jeans. But to think that these same jeans would have, even after a buy one, get one free sale, my cost of goods and the fees from Poshmark, I still made more money on this sale selling it myself than had they sold on their own on the real real. I found that fascinating. A lot of the items now that they're only doing a 30% payout on, I'm avoiding sending to them. I haven't done anything on the real real in a while. Let me know if you're interested in it. Another bundle that already shipped was a new with tag Levi's red and black plaid button down shirt that I had priced at $45 in a vintage Pendleton wool blazer in red that was priced at 40. My buyer paid $45 for the bundle. Again, very happy to move a blazer. Okay, we have more pants here, more Levi's. 
So these white wide leg crop Levi's in a size 10, I had priced at $48 and my buyer got those. And then she also purchased, I love these. I thought about keeping these. They're my size when things stretch, <laughs> but these are We The Free snake skin skinny pants. These are so cute with a little raw hem. And these were also $48. So this was just even, she got each pair for $24, which I think was such a great deal. This is from Seattle to you. And she left me such a sweet message. So thank you so much for your purchase. And I hope you love these. Another bundle that is already packaged up, ready to go out is this young, fabulous and broke tie dye uh, dolman sleeve, like slouchy shirt that I had priced at $40. What the buyer got for free was this anthropology moth Anita swing sweater. So she got this bundle for just $40. And that bundle is going to Catalina. Thank you so much, Catalina. This just came in this morning. So this doesn't factor into the thousand dollar the one thousand one dollars in sales that i'm reporting this i did honor because the person sent me the bogo last night and i just accepted this morning but this is an aloe tank top i grabbed the aloe tank but she also got a vintage and klein silk scarf the scarf actually was the higher priced item the scarf was priced at thirty dollars and then this aloe tank she got for free. Another bundle that I sent out yesterday was uh, this cottage core Lauren Conrad new with tag floral dress. This was so cute, but I had it priced at $50 and it had been around for a long time because it was new with tag, probably priced that high for Lauren Conrad for sure. I wonder what the price tag on it was, 60. So yeah, I didn't give much of a discount. I think I was holding out for the trend on that thinking that the combination of it being new with tag and cottage core that I could price a little bit higher, but that's been around for a long time. And then this Hollister holiday plaid lined utility jacket. This I believe was Angelina's. I did get it thrifted. I paid about 10, $15 for it at Savers. She wore it for a little while. I had this priced at 50. This I just recently dropped the price on. So this was a great deal, 50, 50. She paid 50, she got the dress and the utility coat. Um, so that already shipped out. And I think I might have one other item that shipped and one other bundle to share with you. Yeah, just the, uh, one of the very first bundle sales of the sale was this, the brand was Minoti, M-I-N-O-T-I. I've never heard of that brand before. Oh, it says Australian brand right in my description. Must have picked this up at the bins. I thought it was really cute. It was a little cassette player and it said music is the answer. And then my buyer got Timberland men's socks for free. I've sold a couple of these recently. So that was just a $20 bundle. And the last sale that I accepted last night were on these L.L. Bean canvas boots. These are so awesome. These I got from a friend. They are in great condition. They do have like an X on the inside, which I don't think I noted that in my listing. They are like brand new otherwise. And you know, with a canvas like this, this is so easy and prone to get stained and they are immaculate. I think these must have come right from the L.L. Bean factory store. I find a lot of L.L. Bean factory stuff when I go thrifting at the bins in Maine. I think they get a ton donated to that location. This is a Patagonia retool snap fleece pullover. I purchased one of these and one of these was given to me by my daughter's friend about a year ago. She'd give me a bunch of great stuff. One has already sold, so I'm not sure if this was Abby's or this was one that I picked up in my travels. I had the shoes listed for 75 and this listed for 70 and Mary shopped my BOGO sale. Thank you so ma much, Mary. And she actually offered me $85. So she, she could have just offered me 75 for the sale, but she added $10 on, which I thought was really sweet. So she offered $85 and I accepted her offer. So that's going out today. I think that is everything. It was a whirlwind of a couple days between launching my new channel and then I posted the video of the boys shopping at the bin. So I had two videos that I put out. I was live with my friend Hope on her Monday sip, which was so much fun. If you guys wanna watch the replay of that, it was three hours long, but we laughed so much. I always laugh so much when I'm with Hope. And then I decided to run this sale. So it was like a total whirlwind in 48 hours, um, but I am getting these sales out and I'm very excited because I think I'm gonna treat myself with a little trip to the thrift store. I've listed over 100 items, I've sold over 100 items, and I've done close to 100 items in bundle boxes and donated 
two big bags. I hope it was helpful to see the types of things that I'm selling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll leave the link to my new channel if you wanna check that out. Thank you guys so much, you're the best. All right, everybody, see you later, bye. I hope that everybody is doing okay given the new circumstances and changes in the algorithm at Poshmark. And I hope that this video was helpful in showing how sometimes being creative might be able to boost your sales a little bit until things get figured out. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you.